So in most cases, I'm sure you've already have a uh, SQL Server set up. If you don't, uh, you can download a free Express Edition. Um, right now, I'm just downloading SQL Server 2017, and they have an Express Edition. So let me go ahead and download that and install it. So it looks like the install is completed successfully. Now I'm going to install SSMS, and SF SSMS is a uh, is a program, a user interface that allows you to easily attach and detach databases. And uh, you're going to need to attach a database for use with uh, Asset Manage Enterprise. Okay, so now we have SQL Server Express and uh, the Management Studio on our computer. And what we're going to do is run Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So the, the uh, Management Studio has come up and it's giving us our default server name. Uh, that's the only one installed in this machine. You may have other ones. So you're just going to select the correct server instance, click on Connect. And now what we have to do basically is uh, under the databases section, we're going to have to attach the, the Asset Manage Enterprise database. So we're going to attach an MDF file. Now, since we don't have Asset Manage Enterprise installed on this computer, we're going to do that first. I'm running the Asset Manage Enterprise setup program. In most cases, you're just going to keep clicking the next button uh, where you want to install it to images reports now obviously if you want to share images with other users you're going to need to install the images folder to a shared directory Click finish and it goes and uh, brings up the getting started page in most cases you do not need to reboot it's going to show you some uh, latest readme notes Okay, so now we've installed Asset Man Managed Enterprise. Now we're going to bring up our Windows File Explorer. And we're going to find a file. Let me look for it here under C. I'm sorry, it's going to be under C, Program Files x86, Asset Managed Enterprise. And you've got a little upsize folder. Click on that. And unless you're using SQL Server 2005 or 2007, you're going to take these two files, Asset MNG 2010 and Asset MNG 2010 log. And right now they're in a read-only folder because uh, Windows uh, seems to set all of folders under program files to read-only. So the best practice is probably just to move it to a um, move it to a folder where you know you have read-write access. So I'll just move it to uh, let me just move it to public users public paste now I'm going to go back to SSMS and right mouse click on databases select attach click on the add button here and users public now here's the file MDF file you click OK click OK again now as you can see here we've got an asset MNG 2010 file uh, I'm sorry, database, and under here all the tables that are introduced when you attach the database. So the next step is to set up an ODBC data source. And the way to do that, get out SSMS, is you're going to, in the search bar, search for ODBC data source. Uh, I you're going to use a 32-bit data source, I believe, because our application is a 32-bit application. So let me run that. And we're going to add a system DSN. Click Add. And the ODBC driver 2017 looks like the correct one. Click on Finish. What it does now is it, uh, it's going to start a wizard, ODBC, ODBC connection wizard. 
just call this connection OD asset manage enterprise which SQL server do you want to connect to now if you don't see the server in your uh, pull down box what you can do is just run the SMS, SSMS again And you just copy and paste the server name from here. Now, in most cases, you're going to use integrated Windows authentication. Click next. Now, this is important. Ch uh, click on the change the default database to. And for the drop down, make sure you select Asset MNG 2010. If you don't, nothing's going to work. Click on next again. I believe you're going to leave those like that. Finish. Now test the data source. Test uh, test completed successfully. Click on OK. OK again. Now we're actually going to run Asset Manage Enterprise. So let me double click on that program icon and. Now the first thing it's going to do is ask you for a uh, data source, select a data source to use for the program. The data source is what we just used to connect to the asset managed database on SQL Server. Uh, I'm going to choose this one, click OK. And there you go. The program now is connected to the database. Let's say we want to add an item. And there you go. We were able to add that item. So hopefully that's helpful. If you have any questions, uh, write them in the comments section or contact us. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.